No Excuses Ladies, episode number 16. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a weekly show. Weekly show, sometimes I invite guests here. Sometimes it's just me talking and giving you ideas, giving you advice. But first of all, I wanted to say thank you for showing up. And let me just tell you what the No Excuses movement, no, what's the No Excuses Ladies is all about. Do you hear the music in the sound in the background right there? Yes, that's my music. I've been working with this and I wanted to kind of come out the same way this today before we're gonna even step, but we're gonna just mute this. So we are all set. So let me just explain it to you what the No Excuses Ladies is all about, right? This is a weekly show, first of all, uh, that we meet here on Facebook every week with all the No Excuses Ladies. However, it's for everyone because this is for all of you out there whose priority is to learn how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life. So you can succeed, move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided. Because we have done it, I have done it, and now it's my place, my obligation to tell you and to share with you the things that we have discovered, accomplished over the course of the years because if I don't share, that's my knowledge only for me. And I want to make sure that you guys gain the knowledge because of what's going on out in the world, right? So I consider this somebody's, Carolyn, hello. The No Excuses Ladies, it's pretty much a tribe. This is my goal to become a well-known page, well-known movement all around uh, all the women out there and more. If you got, if you are a guy and you just want to join us, please do it because... Uh, there is uh, really nothing set in stone. So the tribe is welcoming all the badass ladies out there. And for those of you who want to become a badass, because I believe that all of us have it. All of us. Women are very strong and powerful. And I believe that for the course of life, things change. And sometimes we just lose the correct and, and, and the right direction. So that's why I decided that I'm going to do this movement, that I'm going to create this tribe but I need your involvement here. So I see Carolyn is watching. I know that you guys are replaying the, the video later, but the most important thing is to join me weekly and, and, and really participate because if there is no participation, that means there is no feedback. That means that it's just quiet. And quiet, like think about the sea. If it's too quiet on the ocean, that means that the storm will be, will happen eventually. I want us to brainstorm. I, I, I want us to exchange the information. I want to know what you have been applying, what you have not been applying. I see Pam is here. Hello, Pam. Welcome. And Pam is on Instagram. That's why I also go on Instagram with the show because I know that sometimes people don't have Facebook, right? So... Uh, my, my, me feeling grateful today. Thank you so much for showing up. This is going to be a great show. I promise we're not going to go that long. However, I want you to do some exercises today. Okay. I'm feeling super grateful for all your time that you always hear. So I want to say thank you for last week to Silva who showed us, who showed up and gave us a great lesson. And by the way, if I have a tongue twister or things happening, you know, this English is my second language. I make a lot of mistakes, but this does not stop me to share the knowledge with you. So I always say it. I am the underdog and I'm not going to stop because of this. So I know that you have certain things like this in your life. And that's what I wanted to tell you, that this should never stop you from becoming who you want to become. Okay. So what we're going to be discussing today. Today we're going to be discussing habits. We went back to habits, but it's going to be a very specific episode because I'm not going to be going into the AM routine or the evening routine. We're going to go into awareness today. And I'm going to tell you why we want to go into awareness today. It's because a lot of us have a lot of bad habits. And if you are not aware of the bad habits, if you're not really paying attention to it, the habits will continue, first of all, you're not never going to change anything, right? So that's why it's so important to become aware. But before we're going to start, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to let you know, because a lot of you come on the show, listen to us, um, work out with us, 
<clears throat> I've been I've been um, the owner of Peak Physique Training for many many years. Right now, with uh, with my husband Steve, we have created a seven figure business. We created multi different businesses nowadays, and now we are offering a one on one coaching. Not only that one on one, but group coaching as well. Not just with your with your physical, right? Not just the peak physique and the workouts, but mind, body, and business. So keep in mind that if you are struggling, hi, Christy, I see you. And if you are struggling and if you want the needle to be moved forward, you want to scale in life, you need that coach that will guide you and keep you accountable. You need to send me a message today before we even go into the show, okay? Because this will change your life. I will show you how to schedule yourself, how to keep yourself accountable, along with the workout. So there is multi, really, level of coaching here, and that's what's very important. We change this idea, uh, we change peak physique into peak performance coaching based on seeing what's happening out there with people, that people, the first thing, they're gonna give up the good habits, they're gonna give up the workouts, and then everything else goes in life. So today we wanted to talk about habits. We wanted to talk about the awareness, right? So grab a pen and paper because we're going to be doing some work today. Are you ready? So <clears throat> we're going to start with, and I, I have to tell you, I've done it. And it's pretty cool um, because, well, I've done it. You can, you can, you can do this in writing or for some of you that have the habits set in stone, you can literally look through your day. But if you're going to write this down with me, that's going to be very interesting for you to see certain things that's happening. It's good to start this very early in the morning, but you can look in your day to day and do this as well. So we're going to do, we're going to make a list. So grab a pen and paper, make a list. So it's going to be individual for each person. I see Carolyn still with me from the moment that you wake up. So I will give you an idea what I've done with myself and why we're going to do this, first of all. Because once you're going to break down all the habits, all the things from early in the morning all the way down to the evening, you're going to mark with a plus sign the things that are, that are good habits and minus for the ones that are not good. So listen up. You need to write all of them. Literally all of them. If you if you go to Starbucks every single day and you buy that Frappuccino, you need to write it down. If you go to fast food restaurant every single day, you need to write this down. Literally, it has to be a full list. But but before we're gonna finish that list, you're gonna you're gonna kind of have an idea what I'm talking about. Remember, we're going to mark the plus, the good stuff, and mark the minus into a bad stuff. And that's the stuff we'll have to slowly get rid of. But let's start from the beginning. So I'm just going to uh, <clears throat> give you an idea what's happening in my life and how everything is done. And also, we'll give you an idea what I do and how I eat throughout the day because I know that this has been a struggle and a question for a lot of people out there, a lot of ladies. Because women, the women that join my group all, also, the first thing when they say is nutrition. Is I am good with nutrition and then I'm bad with nutrition. It's like always I talk about that roller coaster, right? The roller coaster ride, you lose, you gain. You go into a diet, you're motivated, you lose motivation, everything falls apart. So by applying the no excuses mindset and learning what this is, it, it's becoming so engraved into your daily habits and routines that nothing's going to steer up your ship. Nothing's going to cause the storm of your ship. And that's what the whole idea is, ladies. So let's do this. So I'm going to start with my very first thing in the morning. I want you to start to. So I wake up early in the morning. My schedule is at 5 a.m. This is my time. The alarm clock goes off. I wake up. But I wake up to a specific messages. Now, depends on the phone. Like my phone will set the alarm for just literally not a full sentence. So I try to memorize these messages so I see it or I will make a mark for questions for myself. So what do you want to wake up to? First of all, what do you, what messages do you want to wake up with? You like, I don't know, kill the day 
or be consistent or eat well. Maybe you have specific message every single day that you want to wake up to. I'm not sure, but it's up to you. So mine is like four questions. So who do you want to be today? How do you want to show up? You see, you have to stay calm and patient when somebody comes and disturbs your show. The freak is here. He's on the other side of this camera. Don't cut. Let's, you know what? Let's just turn the camera on. <laughs> he escaped. Damn freak. This freak, Steve Eckert. What a freak. Anyway, what message do you want to wake up to? So I, I ask myself, who do I want to be today? What kind of person do I want to be today? Do I want to, I want to be enthusiastic. I want to be knowledgeable. I want to be influential. I want to be positive. I want to spread the love and the joy all, all among people. That's my message. But then how I want to interact with people, like what's the interaction will be all about? Like what skills do I need to learn today? Because sometimes you can go through the day and you're going to be like, what have I learned today? Like today I discovered some cool things about my phone that I've never done. You, you know, it was just like that spark in my, in my head. Wow. I just learned this. What do I want to learn today? Maybe you want to learn specific skill today. Maybe you need to work on something today that you need to learn. So those are the specific questions. And how can I make the difference? How can I make the difference? And 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 serve with excellence. How can I make the difference that serve with excellence? All right, Pamela, let me just see if I can add you here. That would be cool. Let's see if you're gonna respond because I just got the message from you. If not, I'm gonna move on. So, okay, I hi. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, are you gonna, are you gonna, you gonna stay with me? But I don't know if you can, we can stay muted. But I just want you to at least type the messages and respond. Okay, okay, awesome. So we got, just, just make sure that you're gonna make that list because the, the the list is awesome. So I get up immediately. So I don't hit the snooze button, guys. There is not even a question of hitting the snooze, going back to sleep, because I have to tell you, if you're gonna learn to get up without the snooze button, you're gonna realize how better get up, how just better morning it is. I've never been really a snoozer. I could change in my in my previous, you know, previous months. Yes, have I been tired or have I switched the clock? Yes, maybe, but never to the point like I hear from people Another three minutes, another five minutes. They have 10 different alarm clocks set up and they keep on waking up every minute. How disturbing this is. And it's really, it drains your energy down. So hop on, get up and go. And you're going to get the energy going, right? So this is number two. No snooze button. Number three for me. I always grab this, this is, this bottle, bottle, it's always by my side because I drink water in the middle of the night. I drink water right before I go to bed for hydration. So I grab that bottle of water, which is Herbalife bottle. If you don't know where to purchase, let me know. I'm going to give you a link. It's a fantastic bottle because I measure how much water I drink, right? So I get up in the morning, I grab this, I grab my phone and I go downstairs to prepare my meals. So my morning ritual is the G-U-O-P. I always say this, this is an abbreviation, get up on protein or start your day with protein. So I created this abbreviation just to kind of get, keep it in my head and knowing that it's always my ritual. So I drink the Herbalife shake, I drink the Herbalife tea and I drink the aloe. And this has been going for like 13 years. The only thing that I given up was the aloe when I was pregnant and the tea because you're not supposed to be drinking the aloe when you're pregnant and you should not be drinking the tea when you're pregnant. So imagine this is 13 years of consistency. And that's why when I speak to my clients daily, they say to me, oh yes, diet, the herbal life. And I say, no, this is not a diet. 
This is a lifestyle. You need to love it. You need to love something to in implement in you. So there is no such a thing that I have a bad day and I'm going to go for a bagel. But some of you will put on the list Maybe bagel with coffee and cream. Maybe you're going to put Dunkin' Donuts that you go for muffins daily. This can be, it's going to be different for every single one of you, but I need you to write this down. Trust me on this, because this list will work. It will work. It will show you. Maybe you have to pin it to the wall. Maybe you have to have it always on your fridge till you're going to realize that you're making so, you have so many bad habits. This might be going for people that smoke and get up and grab a pack of cigarettes. I'm not sure. Maybe something else. Maybe, maybe there is some other addiction going on. But we need to write this down. And of course, I have to drink my water. So, weight myself in the morning as well. Obviously, you're brushing your teeth, you know, some uh, 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 taking a shower, writing those points down. Now, I also learned a new habit which was when I talked to you guys about stacking habits in my previous episodes, the, the habit came with the meditation. When I go downstairs, grab my stuff, grab my water, I take my cooling mask. So when I do meditate now, I am doing it with a cooling mask that my friend Kristen Schneider gave it to me uh, for, I think it, it was for Christmas, yes. So I love it. I keep it in a, in a, uh, in a freezer. And it's always there for me. So I put it on and this is additional habit, but I write this down because it's a part of my day, right? So then I'm going into my opening routine. So if you guys have an opening routine, write it down. What is your morning greeting opening AM routine? For me it would be meditation because I want to have focus. I want to have good thoughts. I want to have a good breathing. There is so many good things from meditation. So it's very important to start your day in a certain ritual. Remember rituals, if you look into rituals, you're going to find out a lot of good positive things about it. Then I have, of, of course, a, some kind of quick a short reading that will give me like a good vibe. Maybe uh, Brandon Bouchard, the Motivation Manifesto. Maybe there is some other, maybe Stoic book. Anything that you like. If you don't know what to read, send me a message. I'm going to give you an idea of the morning rituals that we've had and we've been doing. What else is there? Well, I use my, obviously, my uh, my planner. And I have all different colors through a few months. I go through different planners. So I do the planner and I write down the questions. I answer them. I put three most important things of the day that I need to complete. What will move the needle for me as far as the business go? And I also write down the things that I will not do or things that are very significant. Like if we... It, it, for instance, like some of you wants to lose weight, right? Maybe you should be writing down, I will eat, I will eat very good today. I will eat clean today. Or maybe I will not touch bad snacks or I will not go to fast food place. You should write the things that you do and the things that you should not do as well, because this is important. Sometimes we think so much of the things that we're supposed to do, but what about the things that we should not do? What about the things like maybe you snack when you make dinner, maybe you pick food. So think about these things right now and write them down. So uh, <clears throat> what else? So the, uh, then the kids, right? The kids go to school. We, I do three times a week. Steve does twice a week. So I put kids going to school or take the kids to school. It's on my calendar. It's on my schedule. I need to pick them, right? So if you drop off your kids to school, it should happen. But maybe throughout the drive to school, here comes the thing. Maybe you have a routine going somewhere that you're not supposed to, picking up something to eat that you're not supposed to, or maybe doing something else that you're really not supposed to. It's a part of your habit, so you need to write this down. Now, my thing is always like the moment that I come in after dropping them off, that's the time that will make the bed. That's the time. I am thinking, okay, go fast, go quick, go be good, clean, put it away, but I have to. If I don't, it, there is absolutely not even one day that I would not go about it. Like, it has to be done. 
it has to, the bed has to be made, the bed has to look good. And <clears throat> those are the habits that you go along. This. Now, maybe some of you, maybe some of you come home and you open up the phone and you are on social media. Maybe you're scrolling and you, uh, you're wasting time. Guys, when you think about it, let me tell you, time goes by so fast. And I will give you an example. Today... Today I was writing an email and I had a 30 minutes block to do that. But because somebody called me and this, this call was important, I had to answer and I spoke to them. It, out of nowhere, it was 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So even those little things really take your time. So make sure that if you want to go on social media, maybe schedule this time. Maybe give yourself 10 or 15 minutes a day on social media because otherwise you become a consumer instead of producer and we want more producers in life because each of you have a very significant thing very special thing that you can share with others that you can teach others and by producing by creating that's how life and how work changes right because without these big movements big people people that create and produce and innovate we would not have the phone today so I just want to point this out, guys, that you have, ladies and gentlemen, you have some awesome, amazing things to share in this world. So let's get to work, everybody. Um, <clears throat> what else? Taking quick, short breaks is important, especially when you work on things that are very, very um, hard on your brain. If you create something like, like, hear me out, you've done things that maybe you, you have a project that you were working so hard. So when you work on a computer and you write things down, how do you feel after 15 minutes? Sometimes you feel like, oh my God, I feel like my brain's going to be cooked. At least I felt this so many times. It, now and even at my university, I remember. So I that 10 to 15 minutes breaks is good. Going downstairs, refilling the bottle of water, uh, taking your eyes off the screen, or going outside and taking a fresh air. It's important. But this happens. I'm, I'm literally going straight thing by stuff by stuff, thing by thing from my list. Right? So <clears throat> then I will do, I have an IG post schedule. So I give myself certain amount of time. So I will not scroll. I will post because I don't want to scroll and look things. Trust me. I would be scrolling because... Uh, that's the ladies. We we get attention. Oh, there is some cool dress. Oh, there is some other thing. Oh, let me just check this out. Oh, this is awesome. So I gotta protect myself from this. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a different story if we shop and other things, right? But if this is time of work, we gotta do this. So uh, what I realized also is that throughout the day, what I created is is an abbreviation. W M W M Y H B. What makes you happy break? I don't know. Maybe you're going to have a different break. Maybe you're going to call it a break. Maybe you're going to call it a brain dump. I don't know what you're going to call it, but what makes you happy break? Because it makes me happy when I have a moment half an hour, 45 minutes with the kids, besides taking them from school and finding out how their day was when we call, you know, to Poland and, and we have that moment together. But during the day, it's so important. It makes my work better, I've realized, because I give them undivided attention and it makes my work better. So think about it, what makes you happy, right? What would that be? You know, nothing bad though, no bad habits. That's what I'm talking about, uh, right? So uh, at certain time, of course, I'm going for snack, I'm eating yogurt. So whatever the second snack, whatever the second thing is that you eat, write it down. Because again, maybe you don't eat all day long and this is a huge mistake for those of you who wants to lose weight because you're supposed to be eating every two, three hours. You're supposed to have 50% of the daily uh, calories should be coming from real protein, 25 from carbs, and 25 from the fat. So this is very important, right? Now, picking up the kids, obviously, 
at certain time, it's on a schedule. Then the next thing, you know, and when I mentioned to you, I talked to, I talk, I call uh, my family in Poland. I spent 15 to 30 minutes. I pick a person in the morning that I'm going to contact. I literally write it down who I should contact today or should I, who should I send a message today, who I should connect today. So when I write it down, my goal is to connect with that person. My goal is to connect with, my goal is to somehow reach out to that person. And it's very important um, to do that. Now, what's for the snack? Of course, the snack ha happens like every two, three hours. So I would have my, uh, my beverage uh, mix or from Herbalife or my tuna packet that I will have egg whites with some vegetables, healthy stuff, healthy. Because when you work or when you occupy and when you at work, again, you don't eat. Or maybe your work, like that's what uh, in the health uh, industry I've realized for many, many, many years and just recently talked to one of the nurses that was taking my blood. We were discussing how how health uh, ind industry overall offices are so unhealthy. They always get the donut. Somebody always brings something bad. So I'm sorry if you've been person, if you have been person, I'm sorry to say to you this, but if you've been this person that contribute to this, Stop bringing no donuts to, to, to the health place when you go to your doctor. Bring them some carrots, even though they are starchy, maybe broccoli better, you know. So, or bring them some protein bars. Don't feed them. They already overweight. And now they're trying to teach us about health habits. Totally opposite. Listen, you're going to, only you can, you can listen to someone and take their advice when they lead by example. There is no other way. So... If all of us have to get healthy and happy, we need to change these things. So don't contribute to that stuff. Please eat some healthy stuff and don't miss the small snacks throughout the day. What's next? Always it's a water refill. So I pay attention to this jar. In the morning about 9.30 or 10, this should be empty because from 5 a.m., this has to be empty. And we're talking about 2,000 millimeters. So I go and refill this. So in the afternoon, I refill again. So I have three or four of those. Yes, drinking a lot. When you talk a lot, when you work out a lot, you need to do that. Now, listen up. Obviously, there is work. I go back to work. Then it's time for workout. Sometimes the schedule will change, and I will do this in the morning, and I have to have my work cow in the morning either I teach or I have to do this but other than that what how do I prepare myself for working out I create beast mode on this is BMO goes on and I am thinking beast mode on I have to make my pre-workout I'm gonna stretch foam roll prepare myself for the workout you will never see me going to cold turkey and i strongly suggest you to do the same why we do stretching why we do foam rolling because you want to elongate the muscle you want to wake up your body you want to prepare for the workout when i see people i used to uh, when the commercial gym was open here and there we would go there uh, because obviously we have our own private gym here created in a garage and you guys see our workouts here but I would go sometimes to do some machines in a, in a commercial gym. And people would be literally walking from outside, going directly to a lifting room without warm up, without preparation, without loosening up the joints. So be small on with the preparation and my friends, very important, pre-workout mix. You will never see me working out without having my concoction. Never. I've learned this over the years as, as my body changed and started toning, I started using supplementation, natural supplements that will deliver enough amino acids to your, to your muscles. Your food will not supplement what you're doing, what kind of damage you're doing when you're lifting weights. And a lot of you uh, will, uh, will say, oh, I eat healthy. No, it's not enough. Because you're damaging the muscle, your muscle needs to recover. That's why companies, think about it. Why there is such an awesome companies out there, like Quest or Bang, that have been studying and developing the products 
for your not convenience only. Oh. Not convenience, yes, I'm here. There's something very important. What is you it? You said it's straight from jujitsu. We might need to go look at a house. But if you're not coming with us, how do we... Don't, don't worry, I'm going to come and get you. Wait, oh. wait, we're going to like stop by here. And... No, we're going to go there. But then, you see how how we roll? Wait, if you're not going to be with us, then are we just going to meet at she the house? She needs to have an end, so are that's we just my gonna, Are we just going to meet at the house? Yes, we, we're going to figure no, this out. No, not this house, the house. I'm yes, gonna we're going to figure this out. I'm going to okay. text you guys, okay? okay? Ciao, have a good workout. I mean, jujitsu. Dog chew? Uh, <laughs> jujitsu. All right. Chow. Yes, ciao. Like chew. <laughs> so guys, so why the, the, the companies have done so many studies uh, to create, to take something so important for us, like the amino acids. Remember, some of the body produces, some have to be delivered from the outside source in a certain amount that you will feel recovered. And that's very important. And this is, again, consistency. It's not on and off. The beast mode is on, the workout, the pre-workout, the workout, everything comes together and it has to happen. And not in the form of one day yes, one day no, consistency. That's what's going to get you to those great, great results. So, uh, workout, during the workout, what do they do during the workout? I do not answer phones. I do not answer phones. Has it happened in the past? Yes. So right now, everything has to be scheduled. I ask people to call before or after. There is no calling during the workouts, even though sometimes people will disturb me still and call me. I listen to the books. It depends. Sometimes I will listen to the music. That's the workout. You need to be focused. You need to have... Uh, you, you, you need to be concentrated. A lot of times also I teach. So obviously... Uh, if I teach, then I wouldn't listen to the book. I concentrate on teaching, right? Now, post-workout shake immediately. That's another habit. It's just Herbalife shake or, or immediately beverage mix, post-workout shake. And this has to happen. Now, then I will check my messages. I will respond to certain people um, on my messages. Obviously, throughout the day, I still give myself a little a little window like this. But this, if I work, I put my phone right here on charging station or I put it away. I do not answer phones. And I strongly recommend you to do the same. Even though, like, you think, you know, sometimes you're chatting with your friends, but you waste your time. Answer them later or say, I am at work. I'm sorry I cannot get back to you right now. I will do this later because your work gets disturbed. And you get drifted. You drift yourself away from your task, from things that matter. And you know what? Later on, you're going to have so much more to talk about to your friend about. Like, think about it, you know, instead of just going and wasting time. So this is very, very important. Of course, happens in the afternoon. Another water refill. This is very important. Another. Why I talk about water? You think, oh, my God, this girl's talking about water. Well, without water, you're not going to have a good digestion. You're not going to have, uh, uh, remember, some vitamins are, are water-soluble, so this is very important. Proper metabolism. Water, we are made out of water. We need to drink a good amount of water. Overweight people, we've done so many studies, people that are very overweight. I had clients literally very overweight drink a cup of water a day you gotta switch this and you that's why i say you need to monitor this and that's why i say have a big bottle not a small cup because you're gonna lose the count you this two to three times a day you're gonna refill you're gonna know where you are so keep that in mind now din dinner preparation okay dinner preparation uh it's when i do prepare dinner I either drink my herbal tea or I drink water because I don't want to snack throughout the dinner. This is a common thing of um, very, very busy, very busy moms. And I hear this a lot of times from women. Oh, I, I don't eat dinner with my family. I said, how is that? How, how come? How, how can you not eat dinner with your family? Oh, because I ate when I was preparing it. I've been snacking. So she, she or he. The person will not even know how much she eat. So please do not grab things as you prepare them. I don't know, chew gum, 
drink a lot of water, prepare the dinner, get ready and do it because this is causing you to also add extra calories that you should not have throughout the day. That's very important. So maybe on the habits, maybe you are a snacker. Maybe you've been snacking. Maybe you've been eating on, maybe you've been eating nuts or something and then out of nowhere you can't even eat dinner. So those are very important things. Remember, we're going to be marking them plus and minus, right? Now, then after dinner, obviously, uh, kids helping me with cleanup. We have chores. We have things organized on the list. Sometimes it's Ivanka, sometimes it's Tyson, sometimes both of them. We have a set schedule, what they're doing, so nothing really happens through, the, through throughout this time. Then it's a family time, reading, biking, whatever, playing games. It depends on the day. We go into the schedule. We are very organized like this, and we like this because it keeps us occupied. Every day is different. Every day brings something different and exciting, and we have our family time, so this is very important. Now, throughout the family time, after we eating dinner, I'm not going to put snacks. I am not going to let the kids go and eat again because we just ate. So again, it's just a designated time for eating. Remember, a lot of you misunderstand snacking. And this is a common mistake with people. Snacking for some people means gra grazing all day long, which is horrible. You should not be doing this. You should have designated five or six meals a day. That's it. That's not such a thing as you have M&Ms on your desk or nuts on your desk and you're going to be grazing throughout the day. Please, please get rid of that habit. You got to mark it as a minus if you've been doing this. You're going to catch yourself on things that you maybe never even realized, okay? Now, the PM routine. What is the PM routine? Obviously, kids taking shower and very important abbreviation that I have created and I've been sharing with you guys for a long time, many, many years right now, GTSOP, go to sleep on protein. Go to sleep on protein. If your dinner has been at 7 or 8 and you go to sleep at 9, you pretty much protein meaning uh, fish, chicken, egg whites, Mm, seafood in general, right? And vegetables, avoiding any kind of starch. So starch will consider of carrots and, and, and the corn, no starch, no pasta, no, no rice. You do not need to eat that. You're going to sleep. Your brain at this point will be recovering. You're not going to work out or work for performance right now. You're not an athlete to go and sleep on this stuff because it's going to be stored as fat. So we do not go to sleep on this. We just go to sleep on protein, vegetables and protein, or like our family does, we do, we do the shakes. So it's a ritual. Everybody drinks the shake. We go to sleep drinking the shakes, and that's how the family runs. It requires time, of course. My my son's uh, has been drinking the shakes for the past two years. He's only nine years old. You see him working out. You see him be, being very athletic. And it's because he has a good nutrition as well. And paying attention to this as a as a mother, as a, you know, if you are if you are a dad watching the show later, it's very important because you are influencer. You need to start with yourself and then share to the kids. If I've never been doing this, I don't think that he would have started. And that's very, very important point. Kids, follow your steps. That's why a lot of times with families that are overweight to parents, the kids become overweight. Or at least one parent, that's what it takes. So you need to make sure that you, you, you understand this. If you don't, please send me a message and I will give you some points. And based on our studies uh, with over 20,000 people, that's what we have discovered. That's what we've done. So remember, this is our study. I am not nutritionist, but I will give you the points based on what we've done. We have changed many people's lives over the course of many years. People lost a lot of, a lot of weight, right? So now, if obviously if the schedule changes, if the schedule changes, I still keep the routine for my food. This is never, ever any other way. Even if we go away or we're not around, this is the same schedule, guys. And this is very important to keep this, to keep this and, and work on it every single day. So now when you created that list, 
If you've realized that every night you've been eating maybe ice cream before you go to bed, or you've been not eating anything, maybe you finish food at 5 or 6 p.m., you're starving, now it's the time to change something. And, and, and maybe get a shake and drink a shake before you go to sleep. So now you're going to realize where the good habits and the bad habits are. Since I have Pam on the other life, Pam, have you been making the list? Or are you thinking about some bad habits that you've had? I see. I finished this by the time I finished working out, which is one hour. Okay, great. So you've been you've been eating protein. You've been you've been really uh, be, being good on this. So that's fantastic, and that's that's awesome. But I know that there will be plenty of people later who watch this show that will see that their habits have been not good. And, and that's why I want to come and give you like a helping hand. So uh, what about like in the evening? What do you do like before you go to bed? Okay, I work out with you guys sometimes. It's by my time. And then I'll have like a collagen cream, maybe some uh, shake or a drink, and then a piece of salmon. And that's about it. And Perfect. Absolutely. So you don't need a lot of food. You just need enough to balance your inside and keep your mind healthy. And it works for me. So I don't know when it works for everybody else, but it works. No, absolutely. And you and you gave a great point because you eat salmon, and that's uh, that's that's protein. That's protein. Yeah. Collagen is protein. Drinking shake is protein. So you're doing a, a very good thing. You rejuvenate your body, you re re rejuvenate your, your muscle. And that's important because a lot of people would, for instance, starve after the workout. And I, trust me, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, I would have done this myself, not knowing because there was no one to never told me this. I wish I would have known that, that you need to recover after working out. But it yes. took years, it took years of study, it took years of understanding the body, training people that that's what it is. Now, another very important point, guys, when you have that list of the habits and you, uh, look, be honest. I'm asking you about honesty here. There, you know, maybe one day is different than the next. Maybe you need to do this in a course of not just single day. Maybe you need to do this for a week and you're going to realize that it's different stuff every day. Maybe one, it's inconsistency too. So finding out these points will help you to be aware and say, you know what, this is why I'm not losing weight. This is why I am not maybe, this is why I'm not hungry. And let me give you a, a good point why so many people are not hungry in the morning. First of all, they train themselves not to be hungry, and a lot of times it's because they eat very heavy at nighttime, very late. So when you get up in the morning, of course you're not hungry. Have you ever had a situation that you eaten such a big dinner and you get up in the morning, you still feel that dinner from last night? I've had it. I've had it myself when we went out. To, I don't know, there was a wedding or something. And then this, the, the morning you are like, oh my God, I still feel it. So some people cons consistently do that. And that's why they train themselves not to eat because they feel stuffed. Or they, peer, they, they literally have been starving themselves from 5 p.m. the night before to whatever, noon the next day. Because they follow different diets. And then eventually this crush on them and it's not sustainable. They cannot continue. So this is very, very important to realize this and then work on this and say, you know what? This is what I need to switch. I need to drink a lot of water. I have to stop going to Starbucks or, or buy the, the, the donuts every single day. It's not healthy for me. It's not good for me. What else? Maybe you don't have a workout at all daily. Look, another habit. A good workout, right, every single day, five days a week at least, and maybe Saturday and Sunday some kind of activity. Now, 
what I would also point out to you is like when you do this list, it's not about to criticize you or feeling such a judgment and 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 I would say not good about like feel feel not good to change this, but don't be like beating yourself up for it. Just say, you know what? Time it has come. This has to stop. I need to change this. And the, just the one thing, one thing, pick from that list. If you concentrate on one thing, good enough, it becomes a habit. You're going to switch the bad one to the good one. And that's the whole idea. That's the whole point. So if you've been eating bad poorly at nighttime and you're going to switch that, and continue for 20 days, 30 days, and then do the next one. But then yet again, some people are, are whatever I tell them, I would say, get rid of this, change this, change this. And they can do multi things at one. They're going to get rid of all this bad and move on to the good one. Some people have to do in sections, in parts, right? Every person is different. That's why the individual attention, the one-on-one -on -one coaching that we do will help you this as well. And, and what other thing is for me, it's very easy to do this because it became automatic. But let me tell you, that's what I said 20, 30 years ago wasn't like this. It wasn't like this. It was no near like this. It took me a while to get these habits. So now you have an idea that everybody can do this. If I did it, you can do it. It's just your decision and saying, I want to do it. I am ready. I, I need to do this. And once to, once you make a decision, it's going to happen for you. That's how simple it is. You just have to have an open mind and just go for it and do this. Because habits, automatic habits, uh, when you have an automatic habit, uh, because you've been doing this for so long, it's like on autopilot. But what happens with this? There are good parts and bad parts. Remember that. When when you stop paying attention to certain things. So if we're talking, thinking about you've been going, I've, I've talked to people. This is very interesting. I have to share this with you. Till this is aware, till this is pointed out, to someone, I had a person, I had a client who was going to, 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 to McDonald's every single day and never realized this because he was so on an autopilot for so many years that we actually discovered this and talk about it. And he, he was like, Oh my God, I've never realized that I've been going every single day because it was auto. It was his bad habit. So in order for us to break this, you got to stay, realize awareness, be aware this is bad. Replace this with something good. Not only get rid of it, but replace it. I'm going to go, instead of going to McDonald's, I'm going to drive for a good salad with good chicken or fish or something that is good and eat a lot of it so you can replace this. And this is very, very important, guys. But make that list. Right plus, right minus, have fun with it. Or maybe ask someone else. This is another good point. Asking someone else, what do you think about this list? Do you think that I do something else here? Do you think that I, uh, that I do something that I should not? Because maybe you didn't even realize, you know? Now, I have created this individual abbreviations for these things, like the, the, the break day, the break time throughout the day, right? The beast moan, uh, uh, this is up to you. Just create something so it's going to get stuck into your head. Create some abbreviations that will go with you, that will go with the flow, that will be very helpful to you. And let me know. And of course, guys, just remember, peak performance coaching, it's not just body anymore. It, we have transformed and changed. We're talking about a lifestyle changes, helping you to discover the good habits, discover the bad habits, creating schedule and helping you to with your mind, body and business. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, make comments. Pamela, it was great to see you. I'm very happy that you had a chance to join me today. Uh,
don't forget everybody that tomorrow, tomorrow, Thursday, it's free boxing, 6.15 p.m., at the Eastern Eastern Standard Time, 3.15 Pacific. Steve will be teaching tomorrow. And Friday, I will be teaching at 6.15 a.m. Pacific. We're going to be doing some cardio. So make sure you're following us. It's a full 60 minutes of workout. Okay? We're going to have fun. So my time is um, okay, it'll be 9.15. So I'm mm -hmm. because you, you it. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Just always replay them. And again, if you need help with anything, let us know. I hope this was helpful. Uh, tag someone in this post. Maybe you know someone. Share the video. I'm also on Facebook here, but on Instagram here. I'm very happy. There was a split screen. This was great. Pamela, thank you so much. Ladies, thank you again. Send me a message today. Let's get you going. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a no excuses, no excuses Wednesday night. Talk to you soon. Bye.